We'll turn to South Korea now. The government has appointed seven new diplomats. They're young, they're charismatic, and they'll bring some bling to dreary old diplomacy. I'm talking about K-pop band BTS. They're now diplomats, believe it or not. All seven members visited the presidential palace today. It was their first day on the job. President Moon Jae-in gave them their diplomatic passports. But what's their mission? BTS are the special presidential envoy for future generations and culture, basically brand ambassadors. They will travel to New York. They will attend the United Nations General Assembly, the UNGA. They will speak on sustainable development goals. The president could not be happier. He is showing off South Korea's biggest soft power tool. BTS have, have around 32 million followers in social media, 32 million. They're the most followed band on the internet. In the US, their album sold half a million copies in 2020, the same year they bagged seven Guinness World Records. Most viewers for a live stream concert, most viewed YouTube video in 24 hours, most weeks at number one on the billboard. I could go on, South Korea has tactfully used BTS to build their own brand. Millions of people around the world love K-pop. And through K-pop, they love South Korea. Look at some numbers. BTS brings $3.6 billion into South Korea every year. Through concerts, licensing, merchandise, they also attract 800,000 tourists every year. That's around 7% of all arrivals. Imagine their pull. Even the United Nations is not immune. Apparently, they requested President Moon to bring BTS along. The UN did. They said the band would represent global youth. It's becoming a common request for the president. Everywhere he goes, they want him to bring BTS along. In fact, the band has visited the UN before in 2018. Their leader spoke at UNICEF. Last year, they sent a pre-recorded message. They asked young people to overcome the challenges of the pandemic and pursue their dreams. This year, they'll return again, not as guests, but as special diplomatic envoys. It's a soft power coup for, Saudi, uh, for South Korea. BTS and their fans can change the pulse of the internet. They even managed to beat Chinese state media. And that's no easy task. I'll tell you what happened. Last year, BTS paid a tribute to American soldiers of the Korean War. The Chinese press was livid. How dare they not mention the Chinese soldiers? Global Times punched out op-eds. They slammed BTS for its quote-unquote one-sided attitude. All the outrage lasted two days. BTS fans flooded social media with hashtags and tweets. Global Times was outgunned. They started deleting articles from their website. BTS won, Global Times zero. This is just one example of their global reach. BTS has single-handedly put Korean pop on the map. A whole genre is built around their success. And Seoul is putting that clout to good use. Frankly, appointing them as envoys was a no-brainer. But they're not the first celebrities to turn diplomats. I can think of at least one more, and this one too is linked to Korea. Not South Korea, but North Korea. Meet Dennis Rodman, American basketball star. He has visited North Korea multiple times. Apparently, he has great chemistry with Kim Jong-un. The two have been spotted watching basketball matches in Pyongyang. In 2017, there were reports that Donald Trump dispatched him to meet Kim. He was the unofficial presidential envoy. Did it work? Well, Trump and Kim ended up meeting thrice. The point is, celebrities can be great diplomatic tools. They have visibility, they have massive following, and people listen when they speak. Something that normal diplomats find hard to achieve. It's also a big win for the United Nations. Put BTS on and more kids will be interested. They don't want to hear Joe Biden talk about climate change, I'm being honest. They would much rather hear BTS talk about it. And for South Korea, it's the gift that keeps on giving. BTS may fade away, but Korean pop will not. Much like the blue jeans and Coca-Cola for America, K-pop is South Korea's new global ticket.